And what we can do is actually making use of this metadata field to create a new field, which is very nice. So what we can do is create a new calculated field by clicking on create calculated field. And I'm going to call it year. Now, the year is in the table name value. So theoretically, theoretically, I can parse it out. The only thing I need to know is from which symbol my year starts and what the length of the string is. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we need to start at the eight symbol, parse four out of it. So what we can do with this function, let me zoom in a bit, mid, I can uh, refer to the table names and then uh, tell it start at the eight symbol and then give me back uh, a string of length four. Let me see whether that worked. Haha, -ha, there it is. You see how quickly we made a column with the year just based on the fact that Tableau prep loads in the file names. Let's do this a second time, but this time for the month. I here have the notion of month in the file name. So again, I click create calculated field. I will call it month this time. And again, I will again make use of the mid function. If you see me making use of functions you don't know and you wanna work with it after the session, do know that whenever you are in a calculated field editor, you actually have the function uh, library at your disposal just by uh, minimizing or maximizing this little screen. So when I here use the mid function and you don't know how to use it, you can easily find how to use it because it literally has a description on the right side on how to use it. So here, we want to parse out a value. Let me minimize it from the table names. One, two, three, four, 13 symbol, then length two, because it's these little two symbols we want to pour us out. I click apply, save, and there you have it. I have a column with year and month. And, I, and then we could even go further, depending on how you want to play with it later in Tableau, you can concatenate these ones. You could write it in, in, one, uh, in one calculation if you really wanted to, if you want to keep it all separately, you could do that. So now I could do take reference the year column, which we just have created, plus hyphen, plus month, just to get a grip on how you can play with your calculated fields. The plus sign is the same thing as the ampersand in Excel. It's used for concatenating string values. So if I now click OK, on top of that, I have my year month. OK, let's pause for a moment. You will see yourself doing all these transformations in the beginning and you might not be secure that your end result will look the way you want it. 